Hey guys, this is a little different from something that I would usually do, but I thought it would be fun and maybe it would help some people out. So today, I'm going to show you how to use Paper Mario Sticker Star as a secondary entry point into the homebrew launcher on the latest firmware. In order to be able to use Sticker Star as an entry point, you must already have another way to get to the homebrew launcher. Mine will be Freaky Hacks. With that being said, to get things started, you'll go to smilum.github io slash 3ds slash. Once you get here, you will scroll down until you see preparing your SD card, and you will click on the homebrew starter kit blue hyperlinked link right here. Once you've clicked on that, it will download. Once it's all done downloading, open it in an extractor program like WinRAR. Once you have it open in the extractor program like WinRAR, you'll also open the folder for the root folder of your SD card for your 3DS. You will see that mine already has files on it, right here. Those files are what's necessary to use Freaky Hacks. As stated earlier, you must already have a way to get to the homebrew launcher, and Freaky Hacks is mine. So, I will extract all the files that I just downloaded to the root folder of the SD card for my 3DS. Once that's all done, it'll look a little something like this. Once you've already extracted everything to the SD card for your 3DS on the root folder, all you have to do is safely eject your SD card and put it back into your 3DS. Once you've used your initial means of getting to the homebrew launcher, you will just simply go to your 3DS, put in your Paper Mario sticker star, and you'll scroll down until you see Exploit Installer Sticker Hacks. You'll click on that. And you will press A to continue. It'll ask which save file you'd like to install it to, and I'm just going to pick slot 1. So I'm going to click A. And it'll say the auto-detected version of Sticker Star for your system will now be displayed, and it's telling you that it found the game because you put it in before you clicked on this installer. You'll press A. Basically, it asks you for your firmware. It'll say old 3DS or new 3DS. Only pick new 3DS if you have a new 3DS XL. Otherwise, pick old 3DS no matter which model you have, if it's a 2DS, an original 3DS, or a 3DS XL. Then, you will pick your firmware, and mine is 11.0.0.33 US, and then you just press A. It'll download the payload, it'll then install the payload. We'll just chill here until it's done, and it's already done. So it'll say it was successfully installed, that's awesome. We'll just press start to get back to the home menu. What I'm going to do is I'm going to power down my 3DS, and then I'm going to open Paper Mario Sticker Star so you can see that it worked properly. So all I have to do is wait for my 3DS to power down turn back on. And then I will turn the 3DS audio on so you can hear the game like loading and you can see that everything's working like it should. So I'm going to turn my game back on. There we go. Go ahead and turn back on the bottom screen. Turn off this music so you can hear the 3DS. There we go. We're going to hop into Sticker Star. And as long as you did everything correctly, you get into Sticker Star, which this game has some incredible music, by the way. You're going to press Start. It's going to say Creating a File, File Created. And you'll see that there's already a file created. It'll have a playtime of four hours. It'll say Decalberg. It'll have some time on it. But basically, when you click on this file, it's going to boot you into the homebrew menu, which is awesome. That's exactly what you wanted to do. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of uh, Paper Mario's Sticker Star Hacks. I just thought this would help people out. So if it helped you out, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.